All right, guys, got the IE tuned for my car, stage one. Just uploading it, preparing it, getting ready to flash. <clears throat> so hopefully just going to see some good power gains. It's like 105, so I'm, I'm out of whack today. <clears throat> but that being said, I'm stoked and I'm going to tough out the heat. But uh, we'll see what this brings. I chose IE instead of APR just for fuel modifications um, and to be the guinea pig. I mean, not a lot of people are running it. There's not a lot of information. So I plan on getting this tune and we'll see how it goes. See how much horses I can get from it. Um, overall drivability and hopefully uh, I'll be impressed with it. Uh, right around the same price as APR, I would say. Um, <clears throat> pros and cons. I didn't go with APR because I have to take it to a dealer. And I don't want to have to do all that if I'm trying to flash it back and forth for whatever reason. I don't have a warranty on the car because it has 59,000 miles on it. But we'll see how she goes. But yeah, integrative engineering. I could do it all from home. Just need a compatible laptop and battery charger. That's it. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated. <clears throat>